Hey everybody, I'm out on the river today. I'm sampling. And uh, I'm going to go over all the tips and tricks and secrets to finding gold in Colorado. Or the way I do it anyway. I think the secret is there are no secrets. You just got to get out and you got to really bust your butt. And you got to sample, 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 sample. The 49ers didn't get it. The Gold Rush guys, they didn't get it. There's gold there. You could come out and work this river and there could be 15, 20 guys working in a section of river and they can't get it all. Every storm layer puts down a new deposit. So there's always gold out here. You'll be able to find it if you keep after it. So one of the first things I do is I get a map. I get a map of the area and I start identifying uh, places that I could go and, and start sampling and I'll section off a few places on that map, points, humps, sandbars, areas that I could get to bedrock that are allowed. And once I find these places, I'll, I'll mark off on a map or my notebook. I always bring my notebook with me. And uh, speaking of the notebook, this is this is what I do. I drew I drew this drew this up to show you kind of how I go about things. I've got this little uh, island drawn up here. I don't know if you could see it, but I got an island right there, and I'll uh, identify an area like this on a map, and then I'll grid it out. I'll grid it out like this, and I'll write down how many colors I get in each spot. But at first, I'll just go through and I'll sample a couple of spots randomly. And if I think it's a good uh, productive area, I'll sample it more. And what, what's important about sampling is you got to do it properly. you got to take your time, or else you're not going to... You're not going to get what you want out of it. So, I normally go out with my pan, my shovel, my classifier, and I'll spend all day long. That's all I do is sample. All day. And I'll get through as much ground as I could possibly get through. And if I find a couple areas that, that, that look like they're pretty productive, I'll come back out with my sluice box and I'll, I'll sample them a little bit more and I'll do the same grid and I'll write down how many colors I get in each pan. In uh, this little this little spot right back here, I sample little areas like that up up ahead. There's a little island. I'll sample places like that, and right down in here, I don't know if you could see all this, but there's like a a layer of hard pack right there at the bottom of this hard pack layer. It starts another layer. I'll go through this layer. And I'll try to sample if I can, if I'm allowed to. I'll sample. And I'll do this all along this, this entire length of this river that I could get to. And while I'm sampling, I'll write down each piece of color that I'm getting. And I'll put it on my grid. And then I have my samples. I go home and I start identifying based off of my grids that I made in each point, hump, behind a boulder, sandbar I'll identify areas that I could go out and start working with my high banker or my suction dredge and I try to eliminate as much ground as I possibly can that's unproductive because I really don't want to waste my time with my equipment hauling it all around it's a waste and you don't need to do it I'm more productive than a lot of other guys because I, I do what I'm telling you I'm doing right now. I go out and I really do. I get after it and I sample and I sample and I sample and I don't stop until I find areas that I could do a, a production mining situation and really get after it just myself or I'll share with uh, my partner or my brother. And that's, that's it really uh, as far as going out sampling. I really uh, take my time to do it and you can do the same things too. I'm gonna go through and show you more videos uh, along this river and uh, keep updating you. I'll send you more videos about how I do and and where I go and all that business. So look, uh, look for the videos, subscribe, or watch the other videos for tips and tricks. And I'll see you next time.